Lighting is such an essential part of life that I guess we get used to it as just being a, a necessity. But once it's there as something you can play with, I guess we're, we're kind of like moths. We're drawn to the light. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is pivotal for the people of Sydney since the 1930s when it was built. It's always had a special place for myself and for Sydney. Colour of the Bridge uh, is the world's largest real-time interactive light sculpture utilising the entire frame of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. We've been working on this project for a couple of years so we have regular discussions about wouldn't it be great if and could we do this. I've been dreaming of the idea of actually uh, outlining the bridge in a coloured interactive display. It sort of evolved from those conversations. Basically we're lighting the western facade of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. The upper arch, the lower arch, the cords in between, under the road deck and to the road pins. In the installation itself comprises of uh, approximately 2,000 LED linear tubes, one kilometre of fibre optics, 8.5 kilometres of Cat6 cable, 3.5 kilometres of Seaform 16 ounce cable, a kilometre of Seaform 3 phase and 20,000 cable ties. When we came up with the concept, I wanted to be able to play with it on a touch surface so it could actually be very playful and high res so you can actually get quite a lot of detail involved. Each person coming up to the kiosk will be able to individually create their own painting on the bridge. So no, no two are alike and it's completely controlled by you. You turn up at the kiosk, you draw your picture, hit the go button, the bridge will fade to black, then your rendition will come up until the next person does theirs. Interactivity is a big thing because you can take a photo of it, but you kind of, you can own it then. You can have your own look and it's up there for, you know, 30 seconds or two minutes and you can say that's my my thing and I had a go at it. The structure of the installation is that we have the kiosk which has two computers in it. So the media server sits on one computer and the app sits on another one. The app controls the media server which is cabled up to the bridge uh, by a fibre optic backbone and the lights just listen out for the information that's addressed to them. So it's not really like a Christmas tree and you know, one light goes and then they all go. Each run of tubes is a section of 10 and they all have their own power supply and each tube itself has 16 pixels. So over the whole bridge we've got a screen that is essentially 8,000 pixels wide. The basis is we're actually running video to the tubes um, but that's actually sent as lighting data. I think the amazing part is that the reflection on the water is so great that that also forms part of the, the overall vista. The installation will be viewable west of the bridge on the Sydney Harbour foreshore from Balmain to Leichhardt, through to North Sydney and Walsh Bay. Art for me should in fact an emotion, good, bad, uh, controversial or benign, but an emotion, a reaction. Hopefully the emotion that will be transmitted to people for this installation is one of joy and happiness and playfulness. I hope they see the bridge in a new light. This job, I've been able to do things I would have never thought even possible. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is such a landmark and iconic piece of infrastructure in Sydney and to be able to do something like this that really highlights 
the shape and features of the bridge is really something to be proud of. Thank you.